what town we're driving through, but I've just seen a sign and it looked quite like a professional Turn sign. Right on Shut up. It said gentleman's club, but it was just on the side of a house. <laughs> so I feel a bit suspicious. Hello. Hello. Welcome to one of our vlogs about Austria. Um, we had some nice time in Austria, which got cut short because of yes. coronavirus. We did not get to go and see as much as we wanted to in Austria, and we hope we can again soon yeah. um, because we really, really want to go and explore the rest of that lovely country. Yeah. We're really looking forward to going through and seeing a lot of it, but as it happens, we only got to enjoy the Alps. I think it's quite an underrated place. People mm. say it's beautiful, but mm. you don't realise quite how amazing. It's amazing. But it's not just beautiful, it's also a little bit scary, isn't it? Uh, well, if you're not entirely prepared, it can be a little bit. Right, so here's what happened when we were on our way to our campsite. We are in Austria. It's super sunny. Can you see? It's actually quite rainy. Um, we are on our way to a campsite, which is quite a novelty, isn't it? Yes. We're going to get our washing done. But uh, also, we are we definitely need a couple of days to recharge. But the best thing is we paid to have a private bathroom. So we can have a bath, like dance around. Look, this um, is the tunnel, sorry to interrupt. There's, there's a tunnel coming. Tunnel Dallas. Tunnel Dallas. Dallas. I'll show you in a minute. Tunnel Dallas. So we're going to have a shower, bath even tonight. Um, just chill out, maybe, uh, maybe a movie night. Maybe Bucket some... of chicken. <laughs> oh, no, that's the, no. Yeah, okay, go, I'll show you the tunnel. But do you think we'll ever come out of this tunnel alive? There's a light at the end of the Ah, snow. We're not going where that guy's come from, I hope. So one thing about me is that I'm not the best at driving in the snow and I'm going to say that I don't mind driving in the snow in a car. I'm not worried about it in the way that some people are. I'm worried about the fact that I'm driving my house <laughs> and my children in the snow and I'm not sure if we can handle the type of snow that happens in Austria. Um, so it's a little bit nerve wracking for me and we came straight out of Swiss well, Switzerland, Liechtenstein um, and then Austria. So. We had like the heart stopping moments on the mountains in Switzerland. Yes. And I thought we were kind of out of this, and then we came back in, and I just thought, oh no. So bear in mind that we're having the next part of our journey with Mel, and she is getting more and more anxious as the moments proceed um, about the snow, and then eventually. We're gonna crash our house. It starts to wear <laughs> off on me, and I start getting really scared, and yeah. <laughs> point the snow was getting so heavy now and we, it doesn't even look that bad on the video it doesn't does know it? but it, it was it and was it also looks like we were driving really fast i promise you we're not driving very fast that's probably there. why it was so bad because we were speeding but yeah we were, yeah we were. breaking everywhere <laughs> um no it was getting there was less and less cars on the road we were we just found out the information about needing snow tires and we just didn't know if where we were going even though it said 
It said that it was sunny, but we were just heading there and the snow was getting worse and worse. Yeah. So we didn't know whether to turn around, pull over and wait. Um, it was no And I, I was really checking. A lot of people had snow tyres. But yeah, so... Mm. Uh... I'm glad there's so many tunnels. It gives us a chance to dust off. One thing about yeah. driving in the snow is that um, the the general feeling that driving in and out of these con like snowy countries or these snowy areas when the road actually does look like it's a little bit too much to drive your house on uh, and it worries you and you're driving up these mountains and you like feel like you're gonna fly off the edge in a minute because it's so slippery or you might not be able to get back down those are the moments that make it the best yeah. obviously yeah. they make it so much fun really in reflection are. yeah <laughs> It's really very snowy still, very quite snowy really. I wish we had snow tyres. Yeah. Man, I've thought that a lot lately. So eventually the snow cleared and we were arriving at our campsite. It was still raining um, and we didn't really know what to expect from our campsite but it was absolutely amazing. When we got there, in classic style, the, the, the weather was hiding the Mist. view, was hiding the surroundings. Yeah. When we got there, it just looked like there was a dirty little pond. Yeah. The reception building looked amazing. Yeah. And she said, there are these areas that you can park on. And we chose to upgrade Slightly. to park in a slightly better place, even though we couldn't really see what was around us. So glad we did. Yeah. So we're being spoiled today. This is our... Our view, pretty freaking special. Um, it's our first full day in Austria and we've got a site to recharge for a few days. Um, and Mel and the kids are just up doing the laundry in the big house and we've just had a little picnic up there and there's a stunning view up there, it's so nice. You get such a, such a lovely view. And I just can't believe how warm it is. Um, so freaking hot. It, sa it says it's 13 degrees today, but hey, I don't know about that. It feels warmer than that. So as you can see, the next morning we got a bit of a surprise. All of a sudden, the mist had lifted and we could see the most beautiful mountains. Mm. We could explore the site. The dirty pond the was dirty a beautiful pond was lake. The best thing in the world. It was yeah. so nice. Picture here. Yeah, it's that picture here. And um, it was just an amazing campsite. The private bathroom that we'd paid for was amazing to have like your own space. Mm. I mean, like I say, this was pre-corona, so we didn't do it because we wanted any sort of sanitary separation. No, it's just, just so we were like, we oh my God, we can bath. have a bath. <laughs> um, and we really used that actually, it was yeah. really good. We stayed there for three nights and I think we had mm. the bathroom for two nights. Yeah. We and didn't it, want to be greedy, we didn't really need it for longer. No. Um, we didn't even need it for two nights. <laughs> no, and they had a little shop, which we didn't actually get any footage of. It was a good little shop. It's nice. Yeah, did we order some bread? I think we did, didn't we? Uh, I can't even remember now. I just remember the best thing they had. The best thing they had was, not in the shop, they had a dog wash station. Oh my god, they had a grooming shower. And we yeah, didn't have dog our dogs shower. with us at this point. Man, yeah. what we wouldn't give now for a dog washing station. And we'd be in there all the time, getting these little rat boys <laughs> they clean. They really would, yeah. The um, kids liked um, going in there and... Trying to keep Riley out of it. Yeah, it was... But the, they... The, the campsite was so well equipped. Like, it was really beautiful. It literally had everything. And it had a park and an adult gym. Outdoor gym type thing. Oh, the outdoor gym was amazing, actually. Mm -hmm. And it had... Um, it had like a, a veranda area on top of the main building, which we mm. had a little picnic on one day, which was really nice. Had a little like um, picture frame area, mm. like cut yeah. that so you could see the mountains framed beautifully. Yeah. It's amazing. And um, one thing that was really, really cool, when we, when we got there, when we noticed the kitchen area, it reminded us of a film. It reminded us straight away of the kitchen scene in Jurassic Park. So we had to make a Jurassic Park We made parody. a little Jurassic Park uh, we, we it kills us. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> it, we, spent, we spent a good proportion of our three days there making this film, mm. having the time of our life, improvising with such mm -hmm. items as cream cheese to make a beard. Have um, you seen it? If you haven't seen it, the link's up. 
somewhere. One of those, TikTok. <laughs> um, one of those, um, but have a look, because we had a lot of fun making it. Yeah. And if you've seen Jurassic Park, it's just silly. which you will have. Um, but yeah, we had a really, really lovely time yeah. at this, this campsite. And we it, stayed longer, we stayed a, an extra day just mm. because... We just loved it so much, didn't we? And it's interesting because when we were at this site, this is what kind of when things started to change. So we just started to hear that coronavirus was more of a thing. Because mm -hmm. like most people, we just kind of thought, oh, something's happening in Italy. Mm -hmm. uh, what's going on? What's... And we were sad that we couldn't go there. <laughs> yeah, we were like, oh, we can't go to Italy. Um, and then what happened was I remember that the receptionist at this campsite said to us, are you staying for one more night? She, she asked me one mm. day. Uh, and I said, oh, no, we're going. Why is that? And she started saying that they were going to have to close they down the next day. They were having a crisis meeting. Yeah, and it looked like they were going to close the next day. Mm -hmm. And that's when we kind of realised how serious it was that yeah. places were starting to shut. Yeah. Um, and so, from here, we headed into Germany, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we headed into Germany with the idea that we were going to head back down through Austria and into um, what, down towards Croatia. But mm. we started to realise that there was issues. Everyone was having issues on all the borders. So we decided to stay in Germany at that point. But one thing that did make me laugh was at this point, we all knew about panic buying in the UK. Mm. And before we left... We wanted to get some toilet roll. Oh yeah, <laughs> toilet roll from the campsite shop because you know it's not you, especially, especially at this time the campsite shops were all closing everywhere. We thought, well, if everything's closing, we want to be careful. So I bought one pack of four rolls that's good for a motorhome toilet. Yeah, for those I got laughed at by the people in there, um, and there was a German um, German family there, and he said something to me. I have no idea what it is, but I know that it was laughing about the fact that I'm from the UK and I'm stocking up on toilet roll. <laughs> we didn't have any. Only <laughs> bought four. For those of you that don't know, you do need special toilet roll for a motorhome, like um, special it's, it's better, marine isn't it? quality yeah. that yeah. degrades a bit better. So it looked like we were <laughs> panic buying. Just bought a little small um, pack. Twenty four. Um, it made us laugh. It still makes us laugh now. Yeah. So from here we headed to Germany and um, some of you, we stayed in Germany for about a week and some of you have probably seen our return home, that's when we came home from lockdown, so if you mm. want to watch that vlog it's one, yeah, of, our, we one of our funniest vlogs, <laughs> like, it's a really long scary race home um, yeah. that's up there or there, you know where they yeah, are now. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, um, we had planned to stay in Germany and the, the German embassy and everybody said it would be fine and the local council said it would be fine, but everybody got turfed out of the Stellplatz mm. um, one morning, so <laughs> that was yeah. good. We did some really nice things in Austria. We just wanted to tell you about the amazing campsite we went to. Yeah, but, um, what a beautiful place. We cannot wait to go back. But we have got one more one more vlog coming from Austria. We had one day out from this site at a place called Crystal Velen. I think that's how you say it, which is basically Crystal World. Amazing. Um, and it is one of the best days out I've ever had in my life, <laughs> apart from Harry Potter World, but we're not going to talk about that. Yeah, somebody went on his own, so we're not allowed to talk about Not completely. About it. I went with work. <laughs> I went with me. Can't do these things for work. Got to pay the bills. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I did, that was a terrible time at Harry Potter World, but um, this one is compares closely to that. My mum's going to hate this, she hates Harry Potter because it ruined York. Uh, I know what you're saying, mum. Um, so, yeah, Crystal Velen, look out for that one because that was an amazing day. We found Crystal Velen, and I'm going to probably say this in the next one, but we found Crystal Velen on, in Rufus's travel book. He's got a travel sort of uh, country by country book and he spotted it. So when we were close by, we had to go. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you for the new likers and subscribers. Yes. Um, we'll see you soon when we show you around Crystal Valen. If you, you can have a little Google of the place if you want to know what's coming, mm. but it's freaking brilliant. Amazing. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.